In this video, we will discuss net present value and internal rate of return calculations for a project with normal cash flows. Normal cash flows means you have one change in sign. In our example, we start out with investing $1,000, followed by positive cash flows in year one of $100, year two of $200, year three of $500, and year four of $900. A net present value calculation just adds up the discounted value of each of these cash flows. The first one being negative, the second one being discounted by whatever the WAC is. We will look at multiple different costs of capitals for this project. The uh, third cash flow, our cash flow two, since we defined the initial one as cash flow zero, divided by one plus WAC squared, etc. At first, we merely use a whack of zero, which means we add up all of these cash flows and get a total of $700. Then we gradually increase our cost of capital. And of course, if we increase our cost of capital, the net present value will go down. The net present value calculation in Excel uses the first term being the interest rate, which we vary as whack, a comma, followed by the beginning cash flow in year one, the ending cash flow in year four, and then in Excel, you have to add separately the year zero cash flow. And again, we will proceed to do this for multiple different costs of capital. As we do this and graph it out, interest rates go up. Just like a bond, the value of our project goes down. It goes to zero at what is called the internal rate of return calculation. You can calculate internal rate of return just by doing cash flows over and over again. And we can see we go from positive to negative sometime between 17% and 18% as a cost of capital. If we want to calculate this exactly, Excel has an internal rate of return calculation function where again you just stick in the cash flows, C9, or C6 through C10, calculate the internal rate of return, and we find for this project it is 17.88%. Therefore, for this simple project, if we have a whack below the internal rate of return, we get a positive NPV, and we would accept the project since NPV is the dollar amount that is added to the company's value by engaging in the project, Whereas if our cost of capital is over here above WAC, we would get a negative NPV, and this would be the dollar amount that we would lose in the project. This is for a simple or so-called normal cash flow project. If you have a non-normal cash flow project, which means you have multiple change in signs, then this becomes complicated and we can actually have multiple different internal rates of return. Under those circumstances, the IRR doesn't make any sense, and you have to go to a more complex calculation called the MIRR, or Modified Internal Rate of Return. Thank you for watching this video.